Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I mentioned before that half the time I start this game up, they've got new models they've updated. And I know... <laughs> okay, I'm almost certain that the interior of this tram did not look this nice the last time I uh, uh, hopped onto one of these trams. It might have been the last model, but still, I'm pretty sure I was on this. Tr I was on the interior of this tram not that long ago. It did not look anything like this. <laughs> there was like 90 models updated uh, when I started the game today, and the interior of that tram just looks fantastic. This city looks fantastic. You remember this little bitty city in the corner that we just connected to? Look at this. It is skyrocketed since we connected to it. It's up to 653 population. I've had to increase the number of, um, I've had to increase the number of both passenger and freight trains here and all along the line because it's generating so much more uh, um, uh, uh, um, freight traffic. Uh, to deliver freight down there that it was backing up this station here. I actually took this track out here since we weren't using it. And that way this freight track could make full use of this platform instead of just using half of it. As you can see, we've got stuff sitting there waiting to go. And we've got another train load of uh, materials showing up. All right. Well, today, let's see. Oh, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. Check out this highway. This highway we put in not that long ago between uh, Barry St. Edmunds and, what is it, Millam? And it's it's getting some pretty good use. People are uh, liking having this uh, straight route, or practically straight route, where they can run from one to the other. Uh, we are now reaching saturation point with a lot of our uh, facilities here, and I've been tweaking how many trains we have. I had put a second train on here for food delivery, because we weren't just we just weren't getting our food delivered. We're still not getting all our food delivered. You can see we're now at max production, and very near nearly shipping all of it. Uh, and that means I also had to add more trains onto Millam's freight here, the city freight, because all the food going out to other places was sitting here backing up on the platform. I turn my volume down a little bit. Hope it wasn't too loud for you guys. I, I got a new headset. My old headset died. And this one, I didn't realize it when I ordered it. It wasn't a USB headset. It was just an old style, you know, three millimeter uh, jacks uh, type uh, 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 headset. Um, the problem is, and I, it's got a volume control right on the headset, which I really like, right on the left ear on the back. But because it's a, um, it's a nice, large, and right at, at a convenient spot to hit, which means I hit it all the time, analog volume control which means every time I pick, take my headset off, put it back on, I'm screwing up the volume on that. <laughs> now, it shouldn't affect the volume going to you guys because the computer is putting out the so same volume, but... Ah. All right, so this is all running nicely. Uh, we are going to have to start looking for new production facilities soon, I think, because... I think we may end up uh, very soon reaching a point where we can't produce enough to keep feeding our cities. It's like here, here, he's not getting anywhere near enough tools uh, or machines uh, or food for that matter. The food I think is right now bogged down. It's not caught up yet to everything we've been doing. Uh, machines also was getting backed up. I actually told the trains i added another train and told them to stop waiting here for steel just pick up what was ever whatever is there and move on because as you can see we've got a lot of machines just backed up on the platform here waiting to go out but yeah all of this seems to be working really well i think today what we're going to work on is now that we have all our cities connected uh everything is running down to here and from there, it can run out to everywhere else. Now, we have connected um, uh, Darley Dale here with Bury St. Edmunds via that tram line, which is still working just fine. How's this road looking, by the way? It's got plenty of traffic on it. It's got plenty of traffic on it. 
Um, but I think what I would like to do is run a rail line from Darley Dale down to Kempston and then finally to uh, Utoxeter, which I'm sure I'm not pronouncing right. <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought that was new. I, was, I thought I just saw something appear there, um, which here is going to be pretty easy. This actually maybe I'll start from this end because this should be fairly easy. Um, going from here to here is going to be difficult because one coming out of the station, we're going to be, you know, making a little bit of a U.E. there. I'm wondering, should I make this one continuous line? Or should I do two? I'm leaning towards just doing one continuous line because all this is going to be is train traffic. So it's going to be an express line. Uh, we are going to have to cross this here and we're going to have to rearrange here. Let's go ahead and start here. Um, boy, this really could use a lot of upgrading. All right, I'm going to pause it. December 25th. Okay, Pearl Harbor has happened. Thank goodness, because we're in Europe, so we're happy that U.S. finally got off their butts and got involved in the war. <laughs> um, boy, I tell you what I really want to do is just delete everything off from here, to be honest. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it uh, half it so I don't lose the... Uh, The configuration. Oh, <laughs> waiting for it to do its thing there. So I don't lose the configuration. If you just delete half a platform and then upgrade the new ones and put the new ones in, uh, uh, and then delete the other half, it you don't lose the uh, the uh, um, configuration where you have something on that platform. Okay, so that's all upgraded. Let's go ahead and put this into there 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 and now we'll give it the nice new roof okay now we can go ahead and upgrade the passenger buildings uh yeah we want them on the side so at least this will look nice and new And then our cargo buildings on this side. There. And now we're going to go ahead and replace these platforms. Normally, I wouldn't do this uh, uh, at this point because um, I would just wait until we had the modern stuff. But this looks so awful, I just wanted to do it. <laughs> Oops. That's okay, we needed two tracks here anyways. And then one more passenger platform. And it's not going to matter about me not losing the, uh, what you call it, now that I think about it, the uh, uh, um, configuration on here, because I'm going to have to move this. It's going to have to get moved to the other platform, because we're coming in from this side with the new tracks. Show all of this back. That seems far enough back. And let's go ahead and just replace this section with new. Actually, you know what? I think I want to run this straight out first.
there. And now we'll go ahead and connect this. And just do this. And now we just need our signals. Okay, and let's see. Where's our existing ones? Right here. I discovered a nice, nice little trick. I hadn't mentioned it, but if you just put your signal right over the existing one, it will just replace it. You don't get a double signal. And that way you can go ahead and you know, do this without having issues. Okay, now we just need to move this to platform two and move this to platform two. I said move it to platform two. There we go. Okay, so that error is now gone. Now, let's go ahead and do the platform here now. Uh, fortunately, this one looks nice and new, because we did, we did this not that long ago. Wait, no, tracks, there we go. Oh, wait, no. I wonder I was getting confused, I was doing the wrong tracks. So I think we can go ahead and let this run. Only needed to pause it while we were redoing that other station. Here we're just adding. Okay, so that's all set. Um, let's come straight off from here. Just like we did at the other place. Actually, I didn't even need a freight one on here. Why am I... Why did I bother with that? <laughs> oh, well, that's not a big deal. We ever need to... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should be running freight here. <sighs> that might be a good shortcut for some of the freight rearrange things it would take a little bit of heat off from this yeah i probably should question is do i want to have two separate platforms here no i'm not going to i'm going to keep using one platform on this unless this gets too overloaded that way um that way we can just use a single line for the passenger which i do want to do okay Let's go ahead and put a bridge across here. Um, that might be too close. Let's try down here. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? This is right at the end. What do I care if it's blocking the river? <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's let's actually do this first. So, if we were to just come over here and do this, boy, we really do lose a lot of speed there, don't we? Why that's going uphill like that uh let's back out of that again maybe i just didn't get it yeah i didn't get it completely removed from there okay i just want to get this so it's sort of parallel there let's change this over to this i think that will work
Okay. Now, we're going to have to do this end. We're going to want to end up clear out here on the edge so we can connect that up. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and run this up first off. We just want it to run. That really looked like it was not running very straight. Let's put it like right here. this way, I think. Let's run it to about there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we underground all the way? We also moved away from the edge a bit, which I didn't mean to do. Alright, I think that works. And now we just need to connect this to here. Which, I don't like that little dodge, but what are you going to do? That looks like it's all screwed up <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like it's all good it looked good for a while I don't know why it always does that and wants to separate from the the other track when you're trying to double track Okay, so that's there. Now we know we just need to get over to that. And I think, like, right through here is the best place to do it. So let's do this, I think. Okay, let's grab track. We'll raise it up. And we're just going to go across right here. Here. That's odd. <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, at least that time it didn't weirdly dip down. Hey, that looks good. Now, can we actually cancel all that let's just see what happens if we let's try like that how does that look don't need it to bridge that far we can just put bridge in there that looks pretty good I like it now how far do we need to come down to maintain speed? <sighs> that seems to maintain speed if we go to there. So let's... I sort of figured we'd end up cutting off the end of it. And so I actually made it longer than I expected I would need to so that, you know, we could figure out where was going to be the best place to connect it rather than doing things the other way. There. Well, we dug it down into a gully there, but... 
This should be fairly safe. There. Now, let's bring this out to here. Let's put our crossing here, or not crossing, cross over. There we go. Let's come out to here. It is going to lose speed doing this, but I think that's fine. We're coming into the station, so... out a little bit that created a bit of a uneven thing there <laughs> uh, hmm let's do this here I'm gonna pause this we're gonna delete that delete this Let's go ahead and use this. Let's go this way. There. And then, oh, I want curve. Curve down to there. We'll make that earth. And then this is going to have to cut further back. And we'll curve down to this one and make that earth. There. So now the uh, inner city road traffic is not going to be held up by the uh, trains and then this we're going to take that off go to that there and let's um let's upgrade this Okay, I like that. Okay, so we got this coming in. Oh yeah, we were smoothing this out. That's going to take a bit more work. I didn't realize just how high I'd made that. Now yeah, that looks a bit better. There. All right. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this done. So, signals. And we already set for yes. We'll go ahead and put that one there. And it didn't work. Ah. How about there? What is wrong? Why does this do this sometimes where it just refuses to place signals no matter what you do? There we go. Place the signals. There we go. I think sometimes it forgets that it's set to do the signals and you have to go and do that a uh, little bit I just did and then try again there it didn't place it at least we have the other side in so I can try again there we go now we got both of them in 
I'm going to delete these. Because I don't think that one was quite where I wanted it to be. There we go. And then we come back to here. And place this one right here. And let's go ahead, actually... Um, sorry, lost where I was. Let's go ahead here, go to buildings, sheds. Uh, is this the end of Caternary? Yeah. And we'll put the end of Caternary one right there. Except I made it the wrong... Hang on. Uh, new. There we go. Caternary, yes. We got different styles of terminals. Style B. Style C. Style D. I don't know. I don't really see what the difference was between A and C have this catwalk. But I didn't see what the difference was between A and C. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start our line. We're going to actually start it going from here to here. And this is going to be the uh, east uh, north south uh, north south corridor passenger line service. Okay, and then the next one is going to be this. Going to go from here to here. And uh, let's just make this the um, Northeast Corridor Break. So I think I will do a separate freight line going from here to here. I don't think I'll try to do, because uh, otherwise it, you just end up running too many half empty trains or mostly empty trains doing that. All right. We got this. That's pretty cool. I don't think we can use it. Okay. We've got 120 mile an hour, uh, our kilometer an hour cars. Let's go ahead and go with red you and let's see where is it east north south corridor pasture there we go so he's going and then we will go ahead and use this one i didn't mean to leave it red but it doesn't matter And this will be the, what did I say? Northeast. Yeah, Northeast Corridor Freight, right there. Right along and enjoy our train. How's the interior on this guy, love? Um, is there an interior on the... Oh, that's right. It's clear back here. I was looking for it to be in the front. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. And they actually even have chairs in here. How fancy. Look at the detail on this. Man, did they upgrade the detail on these things a lot. Holy cow. There's even like a reflection right there from the glass. You can see it slid open. I am really, really impressed. I am not so impressed with the horrible uh, view forward that you have. I'm glad we don't have this in Derail Valley. I would just never see anything. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, what about the cars? Let's take a look at them. Eh, these are still pretty bland on the inside. 
Hopefully there's something on the uh, the uh, plan to upgrade, though. So this is our long curve. There we go. We're up to 100. We haven't even hit the river yet. We're up to 100. Here we go across the river. Hundred sixteen, seventeen, or eighteen, hundred nineteen, one twenty. By the time we get to the straightaway, we've already hit one twenty. This is straight here. So that's going to make this a pretty nice, fast uh, trip. I mean, we're going to obviously have multiple trains on this because they're going to go down to uh, what was it, Kempston, Kempsworth, whatever it is that we just left. They're going to go down to there and uh, uh, drop off and then continue south when we add that last leg on. But, uh, yeah, they ought to move pretty speedily through here. I can't wait till we actually get uh, some faster locomotives. wonder how far behind the freight is. <laughs> I keep wanting to right-click to zoom in. Too much playing D-Rail Valley, I guess. <laughs> I just sort of want to ride along here a little bit longer. See us reach the... Now here's the uphill part. Just remember, it was running underground, so I had to raise it up. Yeah, I need to do some smoothing here. Otherwise, we're not going to have a view of anything but grassy hill. Probably still won't have much of a view of anything except grass hill. Although on that side, maybe I should leave it because there's nothing over there. That's the edge of the map. Hey, all right. We're already almost up to Darley Dale. We're starting to make the curve. We're going to go up this way. We're going to pass south of the mountains up here. Oh, I want to be over on this side. I want to get a look at the signals as we go past. Cool. Here, let's back, 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 back. Come on, I want to get to the back of the train for the next signal. I can make it. There we go. Now we're at the back of the train. Signals should be changing, and they're not. Should be changing as we go through. I swear the others were. Maybe these just aren't as neatly programmed as the others. But they should... I'm going to back up a little bit more. They should be turning red once we're occupying the block. There we go. They're just turning red a little bit further back behind the train. There's the mountains there. Those are a couple of really perky <laughs> mountains. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I think those mountains should be called growlers. No, 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 no. You're not, not going to say that, growler. <laughs> uh, we already had that discussion about your base on Planet Crafter. There's uh, Darley Dale right there. Let's move over on this side again because this is where our platform will be. Move back behind the first uh, passenger car here. Okay, there's a road. We already passed over that other track I never noticed. There's freight coming in. Now, unfortunately, this does create a loop uh, for freight traffic, which is not a good thing. But, you know, maybe... 
I got one passenger. The the that city in the far south is going to be the big one. That's the one that's that's turned into a massive city. So once we get that connected, we'll have a lot more passenger traffic. But you know, I think this is going to work out really good. So uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and finish this route. And by then, hopefully we'll be into the 1950s and be seeing some new locomotives. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.